Hello, all right, um, it's me. Uh, I'm here on the farm, it's 11 in the morning. So I'm gonna to talk today about water and water problems we've been having here. So I was reading on the comments of the last video, this chap said um, that he'd seen on the news about the big floods in Suratani. And he said, yeah, I hope, you know, your farm is okay. Well, yeah, we are okay here. Um, me and Penn were both a bit surprised to read that because we hadn't seen that on the news ourselves. But yeah, there has been quite a lot of rain here. I guess like you know, rain seasons here again or whatever. And um, yeah, rain most days, but it's been okay. There was just this one day that it really chucked it down for a long time and it did cause some flooding. Um, all of our gate here was flooded and all those were on the road over there and a few places around the farm. But fortunately it didn't last long, you know, by the next next afternoon it had all evaporated again. So a couple of weeks back I was sort of levelling all the mud here. You know, I didn't know exactly what I was going to do, but I thought, well, at least let's get the mud nice and level in preparation. Well, with all the rain we've been having recently, obviously there's a lot of rain shooting off the roof here and it's all falling into here and we've been washing the mud away. So now I'm in like a real sort of, well, almost desperate hurry to sort of fix this water situation. I wasn't sure if I was going to put gutters in before. I thought I might just put like something here to deal with the water so I allow it to fall and direct it out. However, with the amount of water I've seen coming off the roof and how fast it can erode the mud here, I've decided gutters are essential. I've got a big roof and I need gutters. I'm trying to, yeah, so I'm trying to work out what to do here. I think we're going to go with stones. Um, I've asked a few people I know, my, my dad does building in the UK and I have a couple of friends who do building in the UK and they, you know, they've given me some advice about what, what some possibilities would be. Up here, at least on the two long sides and maybe all four sides, I'm gonna put big stainless steel gutters. And then along by the house here, well, as you can see, I've got the chap putting in this like edging made out of bricks that's been concreted in and it's got um, a piece of steel reinforcement running along underneath it as well. And then every couple of bricks there's a gap, so I'm gonna lay some one inch pipes down the bottom, again, to sort of let the water out between the bricks. Hopefully the rain holds off, you know, for just a few days till we get the gutters finished and we get this uh, brick perimeter finished. Um, <laughs> so often in Thailand, like builders will work as like a husband and wife team. Like the guy we have working here will do the brick laying and his his wife will help him mix the cement or whatever. And same with the tiling, he'll do the tiling and his wife will mix the mortar, whatever you call it. So anyway, I can't give you all the details, but this husband and wife have sort of had a an argument and so she won't come to work and now he won't come to work. And we don't really know what's going on. All we know, thanks, thanks to the camera over there, is, um, well, I'll put up the video, you can see, so we got a, a text message last night saying there's someone in the house and we could see on the camera the chap was like taking his wheelbarrow and, and taking the electric cable from here. So uh, we don't know why, maybe he's got a temporary job or maybe he's like arguing with the wife and I'm not going back there. So we don't know. It's a bit annoying because because of the rain, we want this job to be done as fast as possible. So we're in a bit of like a limbo thing at the moment and um, you know, I wanna give the guy a day or two to sort it out, but I can't wait at the same time. So we might have to ring someone else to come and finish off this brick job. So Penn's been on the phone. She's found some other chap to come and finish off this job. So hopefully he's gonna to come today. There's Penn over there. She's walking around in the next door's farm. I don't know what she's doing. stealing the fruit yeah. <laughs> well to be honest they told us we can eat the fruit because it's too far gone now for them to be able to sell it and they'd rather that it wasn't sort of sitting around on the floor I don't know why so um, yeah I've got the water tank done and I've got all the plumbing sorted out finally so I sorted out all of our little like, outside bathroom in here so we got a shower that's good because now we can wash the dogs in here so that's all uh, plumbed in with a tap and then like the bun sprayer thing really good I'm really happy about that it's really nice to have running water and I've put on some of these um, you know these hose adapter things so 
we've got uh, running water everywhere and hoses and yeah on the, on this side as well I've got the the hose and I washed the car yesterday that was I won't say fun but it took me three hours but good this guy that lives in here he's got this dog and he keeps it locked up all the time yesterday it escaped and it came over here when I had my headphones on I couldn't hear it coming and my dogs Bung Bung and Gorgi were going really crazy and I thought what are they going crazy for they look a bit crazier than normal so I took my headphones out and I see this big crazy looking dog coming towards me so I ran like inside the fence and lucky I had the fence so Bung Bung and Gorgi were locked up in there and uh well anyway it turns out it was this chap's dog I didn't recognise it because I've never seen it before, but I always hear it bark and it's got this really deep bark and it looks really crazy. So I thought maybe it was like had rabies or something. I was a bit freaked out when it happened. But yeah, this guy came over and sort of picked it up and, and took it back inside the fence. It's quite old, this dog. They keep it locked up all the time because it does bite and that's why it's got to be locked up. Yeah. So yeah, that dog's in here pretty much all the time. And look, this is my neighbor's um, like ganja plant there. So he's got a funny eye. I thought he was like, uh oh. Okay, okay. Good doggy, good doggy. So you can see there, that's my um, my neighbor's ganja plant. He uses it to make tea out of it. It's okay, it's a good dog. It's a good dog, it's being good. Bung down there. He's been seeing off the guy on the motorbike. So a chap just came in and said, yeah, you'll, you'll come tomorrow and finish off this brick job here. Yeah, my friend was telling me I should put like a like plastic sheeting in here as well. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet. I don't know. I might just uh, sort of slope the mud slightly and then put the drain pipes at the bottom and just, just get the water out and then deal with that later. Bung bung! Bunk, come on, in. Good job on the barking. Come on, in. Right, we're going to leave the dogs here and, and pop up the road again. Bunk, bunk, Gorgi. We good? We'll be back. Bedtime. Dogs making themselves all filthy. So we're just popping around the corner again. I don't like to go too far from the dogs, leave them at home, but I don't like to go too far when it's like threatening rain because if it really starts to piss it down, they might get freaked out. So I don't want to be like an hour away and leave them in a thunderstorm. So it's a bit noisy because of the grass path, but we've popped over to this little house by the river again, because we were told that the tiling job is good. So we've come to like, see if it's any good. So yeah, Pen wanted to come as well to see the dogs. So she likes those dogs. Uh, it's okay, but it's not perfect. So also I can see they're solving a similar problem to me here. They've got their, their roof up there with no gutter. So I guess they've got a fair amount of water falling down here. And they've, sort of, they've, they've concreted it. I want to know where he got these big stones from because I might want a few of them. So look, there's the river in the daytime. There's a, a chap down there in the river on his phone. I wasn't expecting to see that. Fair enough. He's having a good time, I guess. So yeah, Penn just wants to come and see the other dog as well. All right, doggy, no biting, no biting. All right, good doggy, good doggy. All right, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. All right, good boy, good boy. that tiling job over there was okay i could live with that but the people that did it have gone away somewhere for three months they've gone off on another job to build like a birdhouse thing i'll put a picture up of one of those it's like it's hard to explain but basically it's a it's a bird nest soup factory it's like a big building that's inhabited by birds it's a bit bit weird if you've not heard of it before but they they do that around here. that was just around the corner where 
back in the farm. You can see the rain clouds are looming now. So that was a bit of a dead end. The tilers are off building a birdhouse. So we'll have to think of someone else. We do have one other contact, so perhaps we'll use them. What I've just been doing is going around to all the fixtures and putting PTFE tape on them all, making sure they're all properly sealed because I'm going to go and test the plumbing. So yeah, I mean, fingers crossed. So I guess my theory is if there's no leaks and no problems in the house, then this will, will reach its pressure and then the water pressure will stabilize and the pump, which is currently turned on, is gonna shut off, right? So if there's any leaks in the house, this is gonna drop and the pump is gonna turn on. So fingers crossed, quite decent, isn't it? So shut, shut that off then and then, um, tap at the back, back here, bro. It seems okay. So the pump hasn't come on, but I have just noticed that's dropping off from 50 there. So hopefully that's just some like air pockets in the system or something. So I think I've ruled out the possibility of big leaks, but I do see water coming out there. So there's definitely something leaking under there. It might be that tap and it might be under the tiles so so a really stupid annoying place to have not done a proper job that's really annoying yeah in under the sink here it just looks like there's a small amount of water moving there isn't there so it's just i think there's a small leak in under there somewhere so yeah water problems really annoying so this guy that's disappeared right the guy that's run off um, he's the guy that did this, so it's not like he's even here so we can make him f fix it. Oh, I'll have to edit out that swearing. <laughs> you know, what I might do is just cap that pipe over here. Look, this is the possibility. It's what I was just saying to Penn. So that's where the water goes into the outside kitchen. I'll cap that because I've still got water running in there. And then I run that water pipe straight through the wall from our inside kitchen. So, so I don't have to rip those tiles up. I can reroute the water. So finally it did start raining a bit. Hopefully it won't be too heavy. Uh, wait and see. So that's been a bit of an annoying day. We find out this morning our, our builders run off and he's not coming back. And then find out we got that leak, that's annoying. Um, Hopefully it's not too difficult to solve it. Gorgie getting his shower. Right, come on, Bunk Bunk, your turn. In the shower, come on. Get him good, he's a naughty dog. Bung Bung, you're a naughty dog. Lying in the cement, fighting in the sand, digging the mud. Bung Bung, you're a naughty dog. Naughty. A naughty Bung Bung. <laughs> 